Hello, this is Science Trainer Gamer doing a review, sharing tips on Pikmin Bloom. Uh, and then by the going forward, I'm just gonna officially rebrand myself to Science Trainer uh, with the three in there, just like my Pokemon Go name, just like my uh, Pikmin Bloom name. And you know, if if, if it shares commonalities with others, then you know, too bad. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. I think this will be a fun video. Let's keep going. Pikmin Bloom is all about walking. You take steps to grow a Pikmin, you take steps to grow flowers, and there's no other mechanics. So you don't have to worry about capturing, po capturing Pokemon on, on your way, walking somewhere. You don't have to worry about destroying a monster like in Witcher. You don't have to worry about uh, take, conquering over a gym. You just walk. And so if you like to walk, this is the game for you. Um, so when you start the game, um, you know, there's like a journal aspect. So you can like take photos and share like your mood at the end of the day. Um, so that's cool. Um, moving on. Um, you plant flowers with Pikmin Bloom, and when you plant the flowers, you can actually see them on the map. Um, and so, fun fact, like, if as you walk, you see the flowers being planted behind you. The mechanic is, like, if you're planting flowers, um, you can't plant a flower in the same location that you are uh, for five minutes, so it's best to plant flowers as you're moving about in the map physically. Um, what else? You get... You plant flowers by gathering flower petals from the Pikmin, and so you feed the Pikmin nectar to get your flower petals, and you can pull six petals from a Pikmin per day. After you pull the sixth petal, the Pikmin gets tired, and so you see that in the middle photo, um, and you have to wait like like 12 hours for the Pikmin to get their energy back for you to pick more flowers from them. Um, and so on the right, you kind of see what that looks like. So you can drag your nectar physically to the Pikmin, and then they'll go take a bite um, and then grow their petal. Um, right, I mean, this is at a low level when I only have three Pikmin, but as you level up, you get more and more. And so it's easy to like mass feed all your Pikmin and get a bunch of petals all at once. Um, and then you use the petals to go plant flowers later on. In order to level up, it's different from Pokemon Go and Witcher because there's no XP. It's all objective based. And so your objectives will be to grow Pikmin, complete expeditions, take steps, plant flowers, etc. Um, and they're all pretty easy to do. Um, the only one that gave me a little bit of trouble was the expeditions, but uh, just just finding where it was on the on the, the actual game. More on that later. Um, and then there's also like little badges that you can do as you like complete different things. Um, leveling up is pretty easy so far. Um, and then as you level up, you can see your your objectives kind of getting being met. Um, steps are always going to be important, and so um, it's cumulative steps. And so right now it's like I need to do fifty thousand steps to advance, but. I've already done like 45,000 from my previous levels. Um, so that's an aspect. Um, what else? As you take steps and you're planting flowers, your flowers gives you a boost to your Pikmin seedlings. And so it starts off with a 10% boost. And then every step, you know, as you keep walking, I think you can go up to 30%. Um, and so planting flowers is a way to kind of boost your other objectives as well. Um, and then here is level four. So I just took a photo. You know, it's a different objective. It's like grow a yellow seedling. Um, so as you level up, you open up your different uh, types of Pikmin that you can plant. And so um, it first starts off with red. Um, you get purple at like level 13 or so. Um, and then as you level up, you, I, I imagine you get uh, access to the other colors of Pikmin. Um, you get more Pikmin by completing expeditions or sometimes your Pikmin will, will just collect one as you walk around um and so you'll see a seedling somewhere in the map you can send your pikmin to go grab it um and then you know if, if it's really close by it can take like a minute if it's far away it can take longer um you can send a pikmin or two to grab like a red yellow or blue seedling uh, and then you go collect it um and it'll look something like this um you know as you walk around in different places in your city then you'll see different objects from different locations within your city uh, and so in order to get to this expedition map you like click on like your username or whatever like so like you go to the map and then like it does like a button on the bottom left and then you'll see like a calendar and like your level and some other stuff so if you click on that top icon then you'll be like you'll see like the expeditions available from there you can pick an item so you send pikmin to it um the more pikmin you send the faster the item gets to you uh, and don't be alarmed about this like 22 hours um this is when i went i did a digimon tournament actually and this tournament was like 30 40 miles away uh at, like a convention center um so that's why like the location is so long but usually if the places are around your house the expedition will take like five minutes um and of course if you send more pikmin then the item will get back to you even faster every expedition you do will increase the friendship with your pikmin that'll be important later what else um and this is what it looks like when you find the items so um sometimes when you walk in you just see the item next to you um if it's not happening for you you can also use a detector you can use a detector roughly like once or twice a day um to reveal the items around you you can also pay 
to uh, use it more often. I haven't found that necessary so far. Um, you know, you just go somewhere new, you activate the detector, you find the items there, and you can go collect them either right away or later on, you know, up to you. Um, what else? Um, the fun thing is that you can actually see your Pikmin walking on the map to the location to pick up the item and then walk back. So it's pretty cool. And if you move, the Pikmin has to travel further to get back to you. So that's another wrinkle as well. Um, what else? Um, as you interact with your Pikmin by giving them nectar or making them go on expeditions, you'll increase their friendship. When their friendship goes to four hearts is when you max them out. And then they'll go and try to get a souvenir from whenever they were born. Um, and so it'll look something like this. There'll be an expedition to go get like a gift box. They go get the gift box and then look at an item, like a souvenir. And then I think this is the end game of the game where you want to complete your collection of items from different uh geography types and so there's forest there's cafe there's restaurant there's park there's there's a couple different there's a couple different things um and uh there's a, it looks like there's a lot um so i think if you want to be a completionist there's going to be quite a bit for you to do here as you get four hearts on all of your pikmin and then you go send them out to go get souvenirs um there's also different uh types of pikmin so i did make it uh the huge seedling is actually a type from a pikmin from what you've already discovered so red yellow blue um or later on purple whatever um, and so they already come with the built-in souvenir and then the purple seedling, um, it takes 3000 steps. And so you get that at level like 13, um, and they're purple, so they're stronger, but they're slower according to the game. Um, so, you know, there's different seedlings that take more steps to, uh, um, grow. Um, here's my level 13 requirement. So I needed 44,000 steps in total to complete. Um, you know, now I'm made it to level 14 and I need to do like 50 K or 55 K or whatever. Um, so, you know, that's something, um, that's how the level mechanic works. What else? Um, there's also big flowers in the world and so as you plant small flowers around them they get energy uh it, and then when they bloom they give you fruit from whatever flower you planted around it um and so it'll look something like this like it'll tell you like i need 300 more flowers so i guess it needs 300 flowers total because this one didn't have anything on it so it'll be like i need 300 more flowers and then it'll bloom and then it'll drop a fruit from whatever flower matched it once it blooms it's not just one player that can make it bloom it's all the players uh, and then when it blooms, any player can co collect the reward. And so this is like a bloom location, like I just wrapped it up. And then um, it'll bloom for, I guess, eight, you know, I don't know if it's eight and a half hours or nine hours. And then, um, you know, you can go get your reward, or even if someone else did it, I imagine you can go get the reward of more fruit. Um, what else? Uh, there's also like this friendless mechanic. And so you can send your friends postcards and. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what this does. I, I, I made these friends on Reddit and I sent them stuff. They haven't sent stuff to me back. Um, you know, on Reddit, there's like, you know, sometimes you can, when a new game starts like this, you'll get like 5,000 friends. And I don't know, maybe there's more to this later for now. Um, I don't know what the super value of this is, but who knows? What else? Um, you know, as you plant flowers, when you get to 500 flowers, um, you get a coin. A thousand flowers, you get two coins, like bloom coins or whatever. Um, and with those coins, you can buy more petals or more nectar. Um, you actually need dollars to increase your storage capacity, which I don't appreciate. But so far, I haven't found the need to actually do anything with my coins because there's so much fruit that it's kind of easy to do. The only thing that is a little bit limited is like the blue flower petals are like the more rare. Um, your Pikmin needs to pick up a blueberry, um, which doesn't happen all that often. Um, you know, the, the yellow, white and red nectar is more common. Um, but I don't know if it has any in-game benefit besides rarity. So, you know, who knows? Um, coins are definitely a lot harder to get than with Pokemon, unless you like walk like a ton. There's also mushrooms. And so mushrooms, uh, unlock at level 15 that I haven't gotten there yet, but basically you send groups of Pikmin to attack. The more friendship you have with your Pikmin, the stronger your attacks. And the more Pikmin are the same color, the more effective your attacks. Uh, and so for this reason, you, you do want to be maxing out your friendship with your Pikmins. And so once you max them out, I rotate them out of my squad and try to do tasks with other Pikmins. Um, and, and when you um, when you take down the mushroom, you get fruit, uh, apparently. I mean, this hasn't happened to me yet. You can also do mushrooms with other players, apparently. Um, but again, I haven't, haven't gotten to that point yet. Um, I don't know if there's that many people where I live. Um, we'll see. I mean, that, and definitely, like, I feel like I've been playing a moderate amount, and I'm not there yet, and the game hasn't been out that long. But, you know, hopefully we'll... we'll, we'll the mushrooms will be interesting and we'll see what happens when we get there so time for the review the game the pro is that the game mechanic is fun walking is fun and seeing the flower trails behind you is fun the flower trails don't last forever so uh, after a couple days they do go away um there's a little bit of privacy to keep in mind there if you don't want to plant flowers all in your house but at the end of the day people only know if to play the game and like you know, it's not massively popular right 
Um, it's simple. The monetization is low. Like there's not a big need to buy more stuff, at least not yet. Um, and I do like that there's stronger exercise focus and not just like capturing Pokemon or doing other stuff. Um, review and then what else? Or or <laughs> the one I don't like was Harry Potter uh, filling up the sticker book, and, and that game isn't doing too well from what I hear. Um, what don't I like is that the end game may be weak if you're just trying to collect the items. Um, it has happened that with Pokemon, um, I've I've doubled the item that I've had before, and so that's not fun. Um, with my Pikmin, sorry, with my Pikmin, I've doubled the items, so that's not fun. Um, the, it's also a battery hog. So if you, you can shut down your phone and just turn on the GPS and, you know, take your steps that way. But um, that's a battery hog too. Um, so that's something I didn't super appreciate either. Um, you know, but, um, you know, if you have a battery, then forget it, right? Um, it's also hard to play in rough weather because you have to physically move your GPS location to um, plant your flower. And so if it's snowing or raining or extreme heat, then that's not going to be fun. Uh, I guess you can play in a mall, but that's something I don't appreciate. Um, and so, yeah, um, I made it to high level in Witcher Monster Slayer, and now I'm kind of getting bored. Pikmin Bloom came along, and hey, let's play. So thank you guys for watching. This is my review on Pikmin Bloom. Um, I think it's a fun game. I'm not sure if it's, I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing in a year, but at least for now I'll play. Uh, you know, I'll definitely give it a month or two. Uh, winter's coming where I'm at, so you know, I'm not sure what the long-term prospects will be. But for now, it's fun. And um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you liked the videos. I know some of them are hits, some of them are not hits, but tell me what you like in my comments below and then we'll keep uh, making that type of content. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.